Hey folks, Doxy here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build my Reservoir Mob Sorter. And this is a bottom collection mob sorter built for my multi-part EXP tutorial series, or rather tutorial series for grinding EXP. And as far as things go, this one's actually pretty interesting, because it doesn't really matter how far you fall, so long as you fall in this reservoir, you won't take any damage whatsoever. And I'm actually going to demonstrate that. Okay, so here I am in basic survival. If I fall, I take damage, just like you would expect. But way the heck up here, I have a platform. That when I fall off from, I'm going to take, you know, I would otherwise take some damage. And I'm going to fall 210 blocks, and then impact the water and not take any damage whatsoever. Here we go. Oh, this is scary. No damage. None. None whatsoever. And again, if, you know, if I walk off from any solid surface and impact something, I'm going to take damage unless I fall into water. Now the whole premise of this is that the spiders end up one place. Spiders end up here. And all the other mobs end up here. Now again, if you built the mob tower right, you're not going to get any endermen, and you really shouldn't have any silverfish or cave spiders to worry about. Yeah, so zombie skeletons and creepers come out here, and spiders come out here. Yeah, so with that, I'm just going to show you how to build it. Uh, now again, you're going to want to find the center of your mob system, and this should line up perfectly with the middle of your mob tower, and you want to set out a 3x3 three three platform. And you can make this out of whatever you want. I prefer glass because it looks cleaner and you can see if something's broken or, you know, watch the mobs come in and marvel in your own greatness. I do that a lot. And around the outside of that platform, you're going to want to build up three high on all four sides and this is where the water reservoir is going to be. Now the thing about this water reservoir is that you need to fill the area inside of it completely with water source blocks. And if you've ever had to work with water before, that might sound like a very, very daunting task, but I'm going to show you that it isn't. Now what you want to do is jump down here with three blocks, it doesn't matter what they're of, and two buckets of water. And these two buckets of water are going to be all you're really going to need for this. It's good to have an infinite spring somewhere close by, but really for this, this is all you need. And you're going to want to fill in two corners, pull from the middle. And once you've pulled from the middle, go ahead and fill in the other two corners. Now, all eight of these blocks are going to be source blocks. And you want to choose one of them. I'm going to choose the side closest to everything. And fill those in. And then go around and against the wall place all your water blocks, except for the one side that you chose. And you want to pull from there. And if you see that one there float in and there's another source block there. And so it's going to keep doing that for as long as as you need it. Now once you get here, make sure not to fill this in. Not not yet at least. And then what you want to do is mine out these blocks. And as you mine these out from the top down, the center will also become a source block. As long as there's a solid block underneath it. Now, if you did this right and replace those, uh, replace the blocks on the side that you were pulling from, with two buckets of water, you filled in a three by three by three space. Now that you have your reservoir installed, you want to choose a side, a side where you want your mobs to be offloaded to. 
doesn't matter which side it is, I'm just going to choose for this tutorial, this side right here. And on the other three sides, you want to build up. And this can come and meet right with the bottom of your mob tower. Or you could have it be extra long if you want to, it really doesn't matter. But you'll want to have it be at least too high, but for this I'm going to make it three. Now, while you're over here, on the side here, you'll want to create a path for your tall mobs. And right now this is only eight long, you can set it up to you know, one direction or the other, it's all entirely up to you and what it is you want to do with your mob system. But it's just one on the bottom, one on the top, and two on each side so that the mobs are able to fall into here and get carried along this direction. And once you get that taken care of, what you'll want to do is put up two partitions on either side so that they don't run out this direction or that direction. And the next step is to simply put in a single bucket of water right here. And this is going to be your first flow on your piping that direction. Now once you have this all set up and you have your two partitions, you want to take three signs and put them one right on top of each other and stack them outward this direction. Now the final goal of what you want to do with these signs is to get three flows of water to come all the way to the edge of them. And what you're going to need to do is place three separate source blocks of water against the far wall. But when you do that, the flow isn't going to come all the way over here. In order to get the flow to make it across the three blocks here and the top block of the glass here, take your bucket of water and place it against the walls and even the top of this if you have to. Just be sure to remove it when you're done so that by the end of it it's completely flush against the edge of these signs. Now once you get it to this point, all the difficult water work is done and you should get ready for transporting the spiders. And the spiders are going to end up in their very own little transportation system. And spiders require two along the bottom, one along the sides, and two along the top, but we haven't quite gotten there yet. And the spider mob transport can fit very snugly on top and offset one from the tall mob system. Just add another block out this direction and build it up one. We'll put a top on it in a later step. And what you want to do is on top of this block right here, make sure it's not this one, this one right here, you'll want to place a water block. If you place it here, they'll actually... If you place it here, they'll never be able to actually enter the system. But if you place it here, they'll actually get pulled into it. And at this point, all you need to do is put a roof on the spider transport and over the actual sorting mechanism, and you're completely done. And for this step, like I did for the dark rooms, I'm going to be giving you a play-by-play, level-by-level, -play, uh, of how to build this blueprint style. And just in case you needed to see it with a grid, here it is. Now, like the first part of this tutorial, I have a couple variations on the mob sorter. I have one where I'm going to be showing you a very minor modification that makes it so that mobs won't get in the way of each other. Slightly higher volume, higher capacity, higher throughput if you build something super ridiculously tall. I also have another version that if you want to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible, I show you how to place the water so that you don't need the signs. A little bit of water voodoo, a little some black magic to get that to happen. 
and then I'm going to be showing you the linear version, which will be the version that you will need to build if you build the linear version of my darkroom. But then, once you get the mob sorter of your choice completely built and to your liking, you can move on to one of the other steps of my tutorial series. The third step being the transport of mobs to wherever it is you want to process them. The crusher, which will inflict exacting damage on those mobs. And then the final step, which shows you how to automate the entirety of the process so that you can be as lazy as you need to be, because you've done a lot of work already, right? If you would be so kind and like, subscribe, and comment on my videos, I would be very much appreciative, and I might even be inspired to produce these videos slightly more frequently than I do. There's always a chance. Three, two, one, recording? No, I didn't record. Why didn't it record? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Three, two, one. What the crap? <sighs> Wee. Chris Splash. <laughs>